Hello and welcome. What's up everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. In this one, I'm going to tell you guys my personal favorite baits for fall time fishing. I'm going to introduce you to the newest member of our family and we're going to do a little unboxing from Sixth Sense. Let's get into it. All right, first and foremost, I apologize for the lack of uploads lately, but as you can see, there's been some big life-changing events going on around here at the Royal House, and we've added a new member to our family, a new wolf to the wolf pack. This right here is Blaze. He's our new Dutch Shepherd pup. He's a little nervous his first time being on camera. As you can see, he's still a little bitty boy, but he will grow fast, and I'm in love with this little dude already honestly i'm going to share with you guys a couple clips that we've captured from his first week here at the house it's been awesome watching him interact with the bigger dogs and letting them get to know each other he's been terrorizing cooper cooper is so extremely patient it took a little longer for enzo to warm up to him but they are well on their way to becoming fast friends as you can see he's absolutely beautiful might be a little tough for the camera to pick up but he's black and brindle and that brindle will show more as he grows i've always wanted a dutch shepherd and this one right here is absolutely beautiful. He's actually the runt of the litter, and I picked him on purpose. Fun fact, both Enzo and Cooper were both the runts of their litters, and they turned out to be the two best dogs that I've ever owned in my life. So I grabbed this little guy. We've named him Blaze, and he's awesome. He went to his first day of school today. He's already learning to walk on a leash. He's learned to sit already. As you can see, he's getting a little toasty out here in the garage, as am I. So I'm not gonna take up too much time here talking about the dog, but I do wanna show you guys a couple really cool clips of him running around the house and interacting with the dogs. Check this out. Is that your new brother, Cooper? What do you think? He's got your toy. <laughs> Look at this man. Where are you going with that, dude? Cooper, take that away from him. You don't need a shoe. Who told you you could have a shoe? <laughs> Showing him who's the boss. Big man. <laughs> All right, Blaze is hanging out over there with his uncle Cooper, and we're gonna get off into the main part of this video, which is my personal favorite baits for fall time fishing. Advisory, this is not a top five baits for fall. I've done those videos in the past, and honestly, if you go back and watch those, my mindset has probably changed a little bit since I put those videos out. This isn't the top five best baits for fall, anything like that. I'm not telling you which baits are the best or which baits you should use. I'm telling you guys what my favorite baits for fall time fishing are. The baits that I have the most fun throwing in the fall time and the baits that I personally see the most success on. So it's not a top five video. It's not me telling you what baits you need to be fishing with. <laughs> Settle down, little man. This is me giving you guys a rundown of my favorite baits for fall time fishing. I have a bunch of them here on the table and we're also gonna do an unboxing. I have some fall time baits in this box that Six Cents sent me. We're gonna check those out. A couple of them are relevant to the video, so we'll take a peek at those as we go through and we get to uh, the category that includes these baits. So I kinda got it separated off into sections here and I'm just gonna start rolling through. I'm gonna talk about a couple of the ones that you guys have seen a lot here on the channel lately, and then we'll roll into some of the other baits that I feel are extremely effective for fall time fishing and the ones that I enjoy throwing once it starts getting a little bit cooler outside like it is right now, even though it is warming up fast out here in the garage today in Texas. We've had a, a cold snap roll through and it's been like in the 50s in the morning. It's been awesome. The bait fish are small, they're moving up shallow, and those bass are murking. Hey, shh, keep it down back there. Short stack, he wants to go inside. I don't blame him. Like I said, it's getting toasty out here, but we're gonna roll through this fall baits video. And I'm just gonna start off with the ones that you guys see me throwing a lot, especially here lately. Uh, first up, 
get this one out of the way, a soft plastic jerk bait. So I've been throwing the flush a lot lately and I've been catching the majority of my fish on the soft plastic weightless jerk bait like the flush right here. This is the flush 5.2 from Six Sense Fishing, my favorite soft plastic jerk bait. Done videos recently here on that bait, so I won't spend too much time on it. They're annihilating that thing, unleashing the fury. And if any of these other baits aren't working for me, I can go to the flush and get bit like that. That's gonna bring me to my next bait that you guys see me throw a whole lot. And one of my favorite baits to throw ever, a swim jig. I love throwing a swim jig. It's no secret. You guys hear me go on and on about this thing all the time. If you've been around here on the channel, you've seen me throw a swim jig a lot and I've caught a lot of fish on this bait. In fact, my PB, nine pounds, eight ounces, came on this bait right here. The Devon swim jig from Six Sense Fishing. And normally I'm throwing it with one of these bad boys on the back. This is a Kitek 3.8 paddle tail swim bait, but I'm gonna give you guys a little tip and a little adjustment. Like I said, these bait fish are small. We're gonna keep coming back to the small profile bait fish multiple times during this video. So just bear with me and get used to me saying the bait fish are small because we're gonna touch on that a lot here. And since they're small, these larger size paddle tail swim baits might be a little bit too big. You might get some short strikes or the fish might not even go after that when they have such small forge cruising around. So I'm gonna recommend that you try one of these bad boys. This is the new Whale 3.0 from Sixth Sense. And this paired up with a Devon swim jig gives you a really excellent, little bit smaller profile, but you can still run a paddle tail on the back of it, which is what I like to do. So I thought that I would bust one of these out and rig it up on a swim jig for you to just show you what I'm talking about. Do this real quick here. <laughs> Little man's just knocked over my rods in the background. Way to go, buddy. Let's go. All right, puppy life. You guys know how it is. Let's get back into the video. Got him put inside. He was getting a little hot and rambunctious. So I'm gonna throw this whale 3.0 on the back of this swim jig. Just show you guys how I would run it right now until those bait fish get a little bit bigger. There's that right there, man. That little whale 3.0 on the back of the swim jig. Trim that skirt down a little bit. That's an excellent profile for the fall time right there. Just a little bit smaller than it would be if you were running the uh, big paddle tail on the back. But you cannot go wrong with a small profile shad colored swim jig in the fall time. It's a bait that I throw all the time, especially in the fall time. So there's baits one and two. And as you can see, I have them both tied on right now. Here's a swim jig. I got that Kitek on the back of there. Probably need to downsize. And there's that flush. They've been absolutely destroying this thing. A lot of numbers on this bait lately, throwing that on the 6.9 medium moderate heater series. And I'm throwing the swim jig on my seven foot four inch medium heavy mod fast heater series. So there's the two setups for the first two baits and my first two recommendations for fall time fishing. But let's keep it rolling. Can't talk about the swim jig without talking about the spinner bait, especially in the fall time. So similar profile, but you're gonna have that flash, gonna have those blades turning and burning. This bait right here, the Divine Spinner Bait from Sixth Sense has been a producer for me ever since it first started getting cold. And I'm talking about it just had to drop a couple degrees and they started eating this thing. Just like those last two, I have one tied on right here. I'm running the juggle on the back of my Devon spinner bait, throwing it on my 7.2 medium heavy mod fast heater series rod with a Corrado 200, 6.2 to one gear ratio on that reel. Keep it a little bit slower, just slow rolling that bad boy and throwing it right off the bank. I mean, they eat it right off the shoreline a lot of the time. So get that thing up shallow, roll it back out into open water, killer fall time option, man, super deadly. But let's keep it rolling. Last one in that category. If you don't wanna throw a spinner bait, you've always got a bladed jig as an option. This is a jackhammer, and this is the one that I'm normally throwing. But in the fall time, I might recommend that you try this little Chatterbait Mini Max. Awesome little bladed jig right here, smaller profile. And as you can see, I have one of those baby whales on the back of that thing. This thing right here, super producer in the fall time. These bait fish, small, right around this size right here right now. And when they're up there shallow murking bait, it's tough to beat a little small bladed jig like that. So if they're short striking the spinner bait or the swim jig, maybe they're hitting the blades or maybe they're biting the tail off of that swim bait on the back of that swim jig, try tossing that little mini max, man. That's a killer option for fall time. Small profile bait fish, guys. Now I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a little honorable mention here before we move on. 
just a little single swimmer, you know, a small profile paddle tail, no skirt, no blades, just on a small jig head. I think that's the Dirty Jigs Matt Allen guppy head, something like that. Either way, just a single swimmer can be a producer in the fall time when those bait fish are up near the shoreline as well. But let's keep it moving and talk about one of my favorite categories and one that I've been catching a lot of fish on here lately as well. This one, super fun, some of the most fun you can have and a bait that I have supreme confidence in, especially when it comes to fall time is the catwalk, the top water walking style bait. This is the catwalk from Sixth Sense, but you could also throw a dogma or a spook. Any top water walking style bait is gonna be a killer option for the fall time, in my humble opinion. And I only say that because they've been absolutely destroying this thing lately. If you guys have been watching the channel recently, you saw that we've caught some really nice fish on the catwalk, and it's just one of my absolute favorite baits to throw anytime they're hitting top water. It does really well in the summer, and it only comes more into play as the colder months roll in. So as you can see, it has this keel style belly, and the bone color is my favorite. The catwalk, it just produces such a unique sound. It splooshes through the water, just a little bit different than your normal walking style bait. But the Dogma 100 is an excellent option, one I have a lot of faith in as well. Tough to beat the catwalk for me. This is the one that I'm throwing the most and like the other baits that I've shown you here in this video, I got one of these jokers tied on right now, throwing it on my 6'9 medium moderate heater series rod. Having a shorter, lighter rod is gonna help you walk the top water walking bait all day long without getting fatigued. Throwing it on straight braid, 50 pound. This is a Corrado DC, 7.4 to one. That's my top water walking bait setup right there for the catwalk. Love this thing. Been catching a lot of fish on it. Super producer, especially in the fall time. If you don't have a catwalk tied on right now, you're slipping up, guys. You need to get on that, throw that walking bait around, watch them unleash the fury, raise the roof, skadoosh. It's a good time, and the catwalk is my favorite, but any walking style bait is a must have for fall time for me. Let's keep it rolling in that same category, top water. Sometimes you just gotta downsize. Sometimes they won't hit the walking bait. Sometimes you need to slow down. And the popper style bait is an excellent option for doing that. This is the Splashback 70. Love this little bait. Just a smaller profile, top water bait fish imitator. That's gonna get it done for you right there when they won't hit that walking bait. You can slow that thing down, get it spitting, chirping up there on the top. You can stall it and just let it sit there and float. And when they're looking up and they're keyed in on a smaller bait fish, that's another excellent option, especially if they won't hit that right there. But that's my number one. The catwalk is my go-to and it's been doing really well for me lately. Caught some nice fish on this thing lately. I'll throw one up on the screen right here so you guys can check it out. That video is here on the channel if you guys would like to watch me catch that fish, scroll through. Also, shout outs to all the new subscribers that we have here. We are ripping our way to 50K. We're rounding the corner now, about to hit it. I'm extremely grateful. 50,000 subscribers, absolutely insane. We're on our way, but I can't do it without you. So if you're watching this video right now and you're not already subscribed and you like fall time fishing, just click that subscribe button. Super easy, free help us grow this channel i sincerely appreciate you let's keep it rolling through the video now we're going to roll on into the rest of the hard baits and something that we touched on earlier was a soft plastic jerk bait but i didn't talk about this right here which is another killer fall time option this is the hard plastic jerk bait this one right here in particular the provoke 106x from six cents fishing and that right there is a killer color that's the ghost pro shad the 106x provoke hard plastic jerk bait Excellent option for fall time. If you don't like throwing a soft plastic jerk bait, I would recommend a hard plastic jerk bait be on the deck of your boat, in your kayak, in the back of your truck, wherever. However, just make sure you have some type of jerk bait with you. It is a good idea to have some type of jerk bait on deck in the fall time. And as I said with the rest of these baits that I've showed you in this video, I'm actually using these suckers. I've got one tied on right here. This is my hard plastic jerk bait setups. The ESP series from Six Sense, 610 medium, got that on a SLX DC, 7.2 to one gear ratio. And that right there is another killer color. Look at that thing. I love throwing a jerk bait. And although I do go to the soft plastic jerk bait, the flush, most of the time, I always have that provoke nearby 
killer option, especially for fall time, and it's gonna be a major player when it gets really cold in the winter months. But let's keep rolling, trying to cycle through this video and get to these baits as fast as I can. All right, so we talked about the swim jig, but now we're gonna talk about a little bit different type of jig that's really good for fall time. Another jig that comes into play right about now for me is gonna be the finesse jig. Now I have a few examples to show you here. First up, this one right here is my confidence. This is the green pumpkin orange six cents finesse jig. It's a ball head finesse jig. A smaller profile jig is great for fishing down there on the bottom. Here's another one. As you can see, this one's a little Ned style ball head from Hoot Jigs. It's got some hair on it. That's really cool. I think that's like bucktail, whatever they call it. I'm not a bait maker, but anyways, there's a killer option. I got another one right here, rigged up with that little finesse stroker craw. I actually had a fish bite one of the claws off of it. I need to replace that one. But there's another smaller profile ball head finesse jig from Hoot Jigs. And then when you need to go super tiny, check that out. That's a little bitty. Kitek ball head finesse jig, that tungsten Kitek jig, awesome option right there. A finesse jig is something that comes into play right around this time for me and something that I always have nearby when they won't hit the swim jig, when they won't hit the baits like the chatter baits or the spinner baits or the moving baits, the swimmers, and you need to slow down. A finesse jig is an excellent option to do that with. You gotta slow down, it can be you know, not as exciting of a technique to fish when they're not biting, but when they're on it, it's really fun and it can produce a lot of fish for you when it starts getting colder. But let's keep rolling here. Next up, we're gonna talk about probably one of my favorites, if not my favorite category in this whole lineup. The rest of the hard baits, the underwater hard baits, the stuff that isn't fished up on the surface. Of course, I'm talking like crankbaits, square bills, the good stuff. And I've got several options right here to show you some of my super confidence for fall time. These little guys right here, square bill crankbaits. This is the Curve Finesse from Sixth Sense, and this right here is the Crush 50 Radiation Craw, AKA Chester Cheeto. We've been talking bait fish, you may think shad imitation, but do not neglect throwing the reds when it starts getting colder. I know that's like typically a springtime color. Everybody wants to throw the oranges and the reds in the springtime, but I'm telling you guys, I have caught some of my best fish and some of my best numbers throwing a orange or red crankbait in the fall time, but that little guy right there, super producer being able to get around and cover water up really shallow off the bank where those bait fish have pushed up where the bass are corralling that bait up to the back of those pockets a square bill crankbait is an excellent way to do that this right here 4k shad crush 50 it's actually that xr model right there you can hear that extra rattles to the extreme but i always have a square bill on deck another excellent option is this little guy right here the munch 40 this is a 4k gizzard Munch 40, and this is a bait that you can get up super shallow with. I mean, you can throw this thing up in the dirt. Awesome, smaller profile crankbait. A beautiful color, that 4K gizzard. This bait is like the Crush 50 mixed with the movement. As you can see, the bill design on the Munch 40 is really similar to the bill design on the movement. And that brings me to my next bait on the list. We're gonna talk wake baits something that i've really started to open up here to lately and not like big wake baits like you typically think of wake bait you think of something like this this is a big bull wake swim bait i'm talking about the smaller profile stuff like the wake 80. i've had a blast here recently catching fish on this and i could not help but include it because I feel like it's going to continue to be a key player it's a bait that i'm looking forward to continuing to fish and they're still eating this thing. They've been on it. As soon as it started getting cooler, they're smashing this thing. Had to include it as one of my recommendations because lately it is one of my absolute favorite baits to throw. So we're talking smaller profile wake baits, guys. Not big swim baits, but the smaller stuff. And another excellent option when it comes to wake baits that don't have such a large profile, this bad boy right here. This is the speed wake from Six Sense Fishing, super fun bait. You can fish this thing so fast. When those shad are tinkling around on the surface and those bass are chasing those suckers up and blowing up, up near the top of the water column, that speed wake will get those bass absolutely fired up and they will come unglued on that thing. They will chase it down, they will mow it down. You almost can't fish it too fast. I've demonstrated that here on the channel before. I've gone out throwing that thing and literally reeled as fast as I could just to see if I could outrun the fish. No go. 
They still got it, they still smashed it, they still ate it, and it's a super fun bait to fish. If you have not thrown the Speed Wake from Six Cents, you gotta pick one of these bad boys up and try it out, especially in the fall time when they're chasing bait up to the surface. Killer option. Now, I'm gonna stop really quickly here, I'm gonna pause for a second, let you guys know that if you're interested in any of these Six Cents baits that I've showed you here in this video, check out SixCentsFishing.com using my code JR10 at checkout. That's gonna give you 10% off everything on the website. It also goes a long way towards supporting the channel, helping us continue to make free fishing content here on YouTube. Thank you to everybody that uses that code. Shout outs to the JR10 Army. We absolutely could not do it without you. You are the lifeblood, the fuel to the fire, and the reason we are able to keep the lights on and the cameras rolling around here. So thank you guys so much. Now, I think we're to a good place where we can go ahead and crack off into this box. A couple relevant baits in here, and I wanna show them to you guys and show you what Six Sense has hooked us up with, as always. Shout outs to Bird Blades and the Bottle Butcher. That one right there has got that awesome looking Damascus blade on it. This right here is a box full of goodies. Just got delivered. And you know how we like to do it. When we get a package of baits, we like to unbox these suckers right here up close and personal on the channel with you guys. I told you about that Movement 80 Wake and I was down to my last one. So I got a little restock of these bad boys. This is that Bone Reactor color. I got a few of those in here. Let's see, Bone Reactor Wake 80s. There's another one. One more. Five of those bad boys I've also got. My other favorite color, this right here, is the Spanish Bone. Really similar, bone colors. That's my favorite when it comes to throwing baits up near the surface of the water. I just have extreme confidence in the bone colors. So, bunch of bone colored Wake 80 baits right there. I had to re-up. That should keep me running for a while right there. I have a few more baits in here that I wanna show you that I think will be excellent for the fall time. First up, this right here, in this particular color, the Curve 55 Blue Truce Shad. This is one of their most awesome colors. Look at this thing. Look at the freaking color on this. If we wanna stand out from the crowd, get those fish fired up. If you're fishing murky water or muddy water, this is an excellent option, but I'm gonna tell you guys, I have smashed them in super clear water on this color right here. I actually have it tied on right now in the C6, but this right here is smaller profile. So I'm gonna be switching up to this to match the hatch and mimic those smaller profile bait fish. This color right here, super confidence. If you're not throwing this one, add it to your arsenal, no matter what type of water you're fishing. The Curve 55 dives five to nine feet. This is my favorite small profile, medium diving crankbait right here. Super confidence, I always have it at the ready. It's actually right here. Throwing that on my 7.5 medium moderate heater series rod. Excellent rod for throwing the Curve 55. I love this 7.5 medium for this bait. That right there, man, five to nine feet, super killer, wiggle wart style, really erratic hunting action on that bait. And this blue true shad color right here is a straight smoke show. Had to add a couple more to the arsenal, but wait, there's more. We talked about the Cheeto, but this right here, is a bait that's gonna come into play, not only right now, but even more once we get into like November, December, January timeframe. This is the Crush Flat 75X in Brown Eye Special. This is one of my all time favorite Six Sense crankbaits and favorite Six Sense colors right here. Super Dominator, man. I love this bait, so much fun. Caught a lot of fish on this bait in this color, especially when it starts getting a little bit colder. When those water tips start dipping down below 80 degrees, get into that 70, even 60 degree range, this right here is a must have. Absolutely love that bait, so I picked up a couple of those. But wait, there's more. This right here is the Crush 100S, the silent square bill. A little bit bigger profile in that same bone reactor color, but it doesn't have rattles. A lot of times that silent bait can be the move. If you have bigger bait fish in your lake, this right here is another excellent option for fall time. The Crush 100S Bone Reactor. Had to grab a couple of those as well as that right there, man. One of my all time favorites, the Crush Flat 75X. I encourage you guys to go try these baits right here and let me know what you think, man. Pick up a Crush Flat 75X, a Crush 100, a Curve 55, maybe a couple wake 80s and let me know how you guys do because I think you will be pleasantly surprised. Another bait on the list that I feel like has to be included 
in the category of producers for fall time is the lipless crankbait. Got a whole bunch of these bad boys right here on deck. Thought it would be a cool opportunity to show you guys inside my lipless crankbait chamber. But the lipless crank, these are all Quake 70s, Quake 80s, and Snatch lipless crankbaits from Sixth Sense in a variety of colors. And I think that a lipless crankbait is something that a lot of people start throwing around fall time. I also have a second box right here. Got some of the Bill Lewis stuff in there. Whoa little tangle right there. There's a little real world demonstration on the benefits of the lipless bait chamber. Keep your hooks protected and keep them from getting all tangled up like that. But whether you're throwing small profile, Bill Lewis, or a little bit larger, Quake 80 suspending a lipless crankbait, excellent option for fall time. It's something that I'm trying to build confidence in, something that I don't throw as much as some of the other baits that, that we're talking about here in the video, but I do have these at the ready and once it starts getting colder these really come into play for a lot of anglers so i wanted to include it on the list all right so as it's getting colder you guys know swim baits are going to come into play we've been talking about swim baits here on the channel and before i wrap this up i do want to show you guys a couple options for the fall time this right here this is that bull shad burrito tactical shad that's the five inch version this is actually a silicone not soft plastic this is actually a silicone bait right now the trace bite hasn't really cracked off yet but this right here is going to get down there a little bit deeper and mimic some of those larger shad that's an excellent option and i feel like if you are going to throw a trace it's the end of summer it's getting cool the bluegill have had time to put on some size so Throw a bluegill color trace and see how that works out for you guys. Now I'm gonna throw in one more bait here and then we're gonna go ahead and wrap up the video. This is something that I've started to get bid on here recently. I actually went out and threw this bait around the other day and they were freaking smashing it and I think it's only gonna come into play even more as we roll on into the colder months. It's no secret, you guys have probably seen the homie Ben Milliken talk about this bait and as the water cools, a glide bait is an excellent option and this flow glider 130 right here is something that i've been throwing around lately and they've been cracking off on it and it's a lot of fun this right here is a glide bait that anyone can throw i've got it here on a 7.3 heavy i mean you don't need a big swim bait rod to throw this thing and if you do that little modification it's an excellent little erratic swimming chopping glide bait and i absolutely have a blast throwing it and we've gone through a lot of baits in this video i think that's going to go ahead and wrap up the smorgasbord here. I've covered a lot. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, not a list video, not a top five video, not me telling you what baits to throw, just me sharing with you guys what my favorite baits are for fall time. And I hope you enjoyed it. You guys go down in the comments and let me know what your favorite baits are to throw in the fall time. Let me know what you think of the new dog. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Check out SixthSenseFishing.com and use my code JR10 at checkout to save 10% off all these awesome Sixth Sense baits. Also, my heater series of rods available through Sixth Sense. If you use that JR10 code, it's gonna knock like $15 off every rod that you order. Excellent deal. It's the rods that I use myself here on the channel all the time, and I absolutely love them. Shout outs to everybody who has already scooped a rod. As always, anyone who uses my JR10 code with Sixth Sense Fishing, you get a shout out on my Instagram. So just go to SixthSenseFishing.com, place any order, pick yourself up one of these Crush Flat 75Xs or one of these Curve 55s, punch in that JR10 for the win, secure the heater, save the bread, take a little screenshot of that order confirmation that they're going to email you, and then DM that bad boy to me, at the Justin Royal, and I will post it up, tag your Instagram account, give you a shout out, it's just a way for me to say thank you and show some public appreciation for you guys helping us keep this whole thing running. Best believe without you, none of this is possible. And as always, shout outs to the almighty, ever-growing heater army. You guys are the lifeblood behind everything that we have going on over here on YouTube. And it's incredible to see the heater army growing like it is, man. If you guys want to learn more about that, hit the top link down below in the video description. You can learn more about how to become a heater army member yourself. I sincerely appreciate everyone who has already done so. But that's about all I got for you today, man. That about does it. That about wraps her on up. So I'm going to say goodbye for now, but I will see you on the next one.